Welcome to the Mickey Mouse Club. Today's guest day, one of our club members at home will get to spend the day with one of the television stars of Step by Step, Stacey Keenan. Plus, Alana's going to make the house go wild with a really funky song. But first, let's take a new look at a classic old television show. <laughs> and now, America's favorite TV show, Why Love Lucy? I'll get it, honey. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Bob, yeah. What? <laughs> International movie star and hard drive guy Hutton is coming over to my apartment to cast me his next movie? Oh, that's great news, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye, Bob. Who was that, honey? Now, Lucy, honey. I have a very important interview here this afternoon, and I don't want you causing any trouble. Like that time last week when you accidentally electrocuted the ambassador to Cuba? <laughs> Okay. Okay, Ricky. Okay. Well, Ethel Guy Hudson's coming here to cast Ricky in his next movie. Guy Hudson, international movie star. You heard from? Yeah. Boy, would I love to be in that movie. Now, Lucy, don't get any of your crazy ideas. I know. I read in a magazine that Guy loves pineapple upside down cake. I'll make him one. Then he'll put me in the movie too. Lucy. I'll get it, honey. Hi, Rick. <laughs> hey, Rick, listen to this. Guy Hudson is coming over here to see me. Guy Hudson? The Guy Hudson? International star of stage and screen, Guy Hudson? The same. He wants to cast me in his next movie, The Mango Tango. <laughs> Whoa, well, that's great, Rick. When will he be here? Uh, this afternoon. Hey, Rick, what's that I smell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's Gates. Uh, Lucy, you smell something in there? I can't hear you, Ricky. I'm trying to light the stove. Ethel, hand me that back. Okay. That's what we smell, Fred. She's trying to light the gas stove. Oh. Gas stove! Lucy! <laughs> Ricky, I just wanted to be in your movie. Got to ask you something, Rick. Why? Why do you love Lucy? I don't know, Faye. She just makes my heart go boom. That's the problem. Everything around here goes boom. <laughs> just before time ran out for the planet Quartz, Minute Hand, the Queen of Quartz, sent her only son to Earth. <laughs> There, he was raised by Swiss clock makers. As time went by, the boy grew up to fulfill his timely destiny. Coming this fall, he's faster than a stopwatch, more accurate than Big Ben, able to make split-second decisions in the blink of an eye. He's Time Man. I don't think the bus is coming today. I'm gonna be late for my midterm exam. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> It's 8.37 and 6 seconds. You are late. Who was that loser? That was no loser. That was time, man. <sighs> We've been trapped in this elevator for 10 hours. Why didn't I listen to you and take the escalator? Look, I'm not going to make it. You know I'm claustrophobic. How much longer can a human being survive in an elevator? <laughs> can last exactly 32 days, 50 minutes, and 10 seconds. Oh, who are you? 
I'm Time Man! Thank goodness we're safe! No! Come on! Please! Take it with you! No, take me with oh, you! Okay, okay, um, now, disconnect the red wire without touching the black one. Oh boy, I don't, I don't know, Phil. This one here's a tricky one. Uh, look, relax, Lieutenant. We've still got five minutes to defuse the bomb before it explodes. Sorry, bomb squad experts, but that time mechanism is wrong. You've only got ten seconds. Time Man. When no other superhero has the time, he does. Coming Tuesdays at 8, 7 Central. Uh, noon in Hong Kong, 1 in Sydney, midnight in Egypt, 4 in Bora Bora. And now, the show where everyone wonders, why love Lucy? Okay, Rick, rebuild your entire apartment. If this keeps up, we're going to have to raise a rent, Rick. I'm sorry, Ben. I don't know what got into Lucy. She'll be more careful. I hope so. Lucy's been blowing up a lot of things lately. <laughs> By the way, Rick, where is she now? Oh, she said she was going to the store to pick up a uh, surprise. Oh, great. Another one of Lucy's surprises. I'm getting out of here, Rick. Hey, fellas. Hi, dear. Hi, honey. We've been shopping all day. She wouldn't even show me what you got to, Ricky. Honey, I'm sorry I ruined your meeting with Guy Hudson yesterday, so I got you Z. Oh, honey, you shouldn't have. See, Fred, isn't she thoughtful? Thoughtful isn't the word I had in mind, Rick. Oh, honey, Fred, you're just mad because the last gift I got you was a cone. <laughs> honey, they're Cuban cigars, your favorite. See, they even have some funny Spanish writing on the side. Dinamita? Hey, Rick, isn't that... Dynamite! Lucy! <laughs> The Maracas, Lucy, honey, what have you done? How many times do I have to tell you? Don't blow up the apartment. It makes me loco. Oh, Ricky, I just wanted to make up with you. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I don't know what came over me. I'll tell you what came over you, Rick. The roof. Dudes and dudettes, surf's up on our gnarly mouse club game today. Beach ball bingo! Okay, hey, cool. Let's meet our contestants. I gotta shut that voice down. Come on out here. Whoa! It's the virtual avalanche of beach balls there. We have over here the red team because you have a red nose. Very nice. Nice color coding. I like that. This is Kelly. Well, let's see how you do this game. Over here, your opponent is with a blue nose. I like this. That looks white in here. You need that blue nose, but I like that. Uh, you're wearing it well. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick, okay. How about you? Do you, have you ever envision yourself with flax in here on a surfboard? No. Good, good. That, that's, that's comforting to know. You ready to play the game, both of you? Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Let me tell you how we're going to play it. Now, in amongst all these balls are some balls with letters on them. The letters B, I, N, G, and O. What you have to do is scramble through here as fast as you can and spell the word bingo. And we're not going to leave you out here alone. We've got partners for you. Come on out here. Go so Mouse Kateri. We've got Ricky over here. Hey, Ricky, welcome. Now we have Jennifer. Thanks for helping, Jennifer. What you have to do, you're going to be placing these correctly in the proper positions. You can grab the letters in any order you want to. Your partners will place them in the positions for you. You have to hand them to your partners. You can't just throw them. All right? You understand that? Everybody ready to play? Let's hear for the blue team over here. And let's hear for the red team over here. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go. On your mark, get set. Bingo! And they're off. Let me get out of here. Go! Go! All right, and they're off. All right, we've already got an N on the blue team. Looks like the red team's got something. Oh, they got an NG on the red team. It's fast. Oh, they're very good. NGO on the red team. Now we've got a, we've got, on the blue team, we've got a B and O. So it's neck and neck. And we've got, no, it's not going for all oh, blue team. I thought was going to win it. Red team just needs a B. The blue team just needs a G. That's all they need. Oh, it's anybody's game, and they're searching. There's Patrick. He's searching. He's searching. Now look, Ricky and Jennifer are waiting helplessly, waiting for their partners to give them the right letter. They can't find it. Patrick, oh, he's look, looking everywhere. I love their blue and red noses on him. Here we go. Oh, and it looks, oh, yes, the red team. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. What? 
All right, come on back in here. Oh, it was neck and neck. It was neck and neck. Oh, you know, it's worth him blowing up all these beaches. Well, that was great. Good job, good job. What happened? What happened over here, Patrick? I couldn't find a G. Couldn't find a G. It's in there somewhere, but you, you almost had it. It was very, very close. Let me show you what you want. Good job there, Kelly. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. Now, because you both did such a totally awesome... A totally awesome performance on both of you. You'll get this, our MMC album. If you like that. And you'll especially like hearing that I don't sing on this album. So that makes it even better. There you go. That's for you. And over here, you get a totally ticking timepiece over here, Kelly, for playing so well. There you go. There you go. Good job. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations to you. Good job on you. And, you know, I got to go right now. I got my surfboard, you know. I'm going to go gargle some seawater. So, peace. Bye. Thank you. And now, the show that has everyone baffled, Why Love Lucy? Okay, guys. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, that's it, Rick. Rebuilt, repainted your entire apartment for the second time this week. <laughs> you know, Ethel won't even come down here. I understand, Frank. Look, Rick, you're gonna have to keep a closer eye on Lucy. I will, I will. Look, I know she gets into trouble and blows up the apartment all the time, but every time she blows up the apartment, I really believe it's gonna be the last time. <laughs> Look, I promise you, it's not gonna happen again. I hope not. Okay. Speaking of Miss TNT, where is she now? Oh, uh, Lucy's planning a big party for a guy hunting a whole lot of Hollywood stars so I can get the part in his next movie. Isn't she wonderful? Yeah. Dangerous comes to mind, too. Hi, fellas. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, Lucy. Boy, the store was a madhouse today. Uh, what did you get, honey? Oh, I got a bunch of great stuff for the party. Everything Guy Hudson loves. Look. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my bag. Microscopes, uh, Lucy. formaldehyde, Honey. potassium, test tubes. Uh, Lucy. What's this? Nitroglycerin? <laughs> Nitroglycerin? Oh, my Lucy, Hey, Frey. Who's the no patient uh, next to you in the ocean thing? Haven't you heard? That's Guy Hudson. Mother of the Yeah. He was at the front door and Lucy blew up the apartment again. Something tells me I'm not going to get the part in this next movie. Hey, Rick, count your blessings. With all this flammable oxygen around, just be glad Lucy's nowhere near here. Surprise! Happy birthday, friend! Lucy! One of our viewers, Laurel Bile from San Francisco, California, wrote to us and said she wanted to meet Stacy Keenan from My Two Jets and Step by Step. So we arranged for Laurel to spend the day with her at Stacy's favorite spots in Venice Beach, California. Check it out. Hi, I'm Stacy Keenan. Laurel Bile wrote a letter to the Mickey Mouse Club asking to meet me. So they flew her in and we're going to spend the day together at a couple different spots at Venice Beach. Hi! <laughs> How are you? Good, come in. Hi. I saw the Red Duke sitting there, and it took me a minute to recognize Stacy. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I'm like, oh, it's her. <laughs> I was not expecting to meet her that fast. We drove around in that Jeep for a while and just talked about a whole bunch of stuff about school and people, classes. Do you plan to continue your education? Um, if I can, yeah. I mean, I, I'd love to, I don't know, I'd love to have the real college experience. First thing, Stacy took me to Venice Beach. That was my first time ever in Venice, and it was great. It was so beautiful. Lots of rollerbladers and people with tans walking around, tattoo parlors and clothes and jewelry. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, this guy. He's funny. We ran into this actor doing a kind of a pantomime where he used the people just all around him to 
do his performance. Like he would set people up to look as though they were shoplifting. After the Venice Boardwalk, he went down to the Venice Canals, and that was a big switch because the boardwalk was tons of people and noise and music and everything. And then down at the canals, it was us and some ducks. <laughs> it was so quiet. We fed the ducks, looked at the really pretty houses around there. Stacy was checking out the real estate. <laughs> That's so nice. Look at that house. I like ones like that. Wow. Afternoon. Hi. It's different for the day. Learn a little bit about sailing. Uh huh. Come on board. After the Venice Canals, we went sailing at Marina del Rey, and it was so beautiful. We first greeted the captain. He showed us around and told us what we'd be doing. He gave us some quick sailing lessons, kind of a crash course. <laughs> this is the halyard. They got the name halyard from when they used to say haul the yards. So you can haul the yards. Okay. Ready? Right. You gotta just get up there and just give it a big pull. Since uh, Stacy did the last sail, the main sail, you can do the staysail. All right. Go for it. Okay. This is the first time I've ever been sailing, so that was really exciting. I can't even describe how gorgeous it was—the sun and all the pelicans and everything. It was really beautiful. You ever done any camping? Yeah, I love camping. I mean, I haven't done the really serious. You know Yosemite. You know, just sleeping under the stars. But I, I've camped and I love it. You could travel anywhere in the world. Where would it be? Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> full around the world. Full yeah. tour. Everywhere. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming aboard. Thanks a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank beautiful. You. Enjoyed Thank having you. you. Thank you. I think the thing I'll remember most is just how incredibly nice Stacy is. She's. A really, really wonderful person. That was a beautiful sailboat. They had a great day together. If there's someone you'd like to meet and spend the day with, write to us at Guest Day, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney MGM Studios, PO Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida 32830. Don't forget to include your name, address, and telephone number. <laughs> Mom's cake is so dry. Embarrassed at serving dry cake again? Introducing really moist cake from Dampenheim's. Cake so moist, your tongue will feel like it's swimming. Boy, does that cake look moist. Mom, I can't believe how moist this cake is. Honey, this is the moistest cake you've made since we've been married. So for all those moments when moistness in your cake is so important, remember Damp and Hines. Happy birthday, Vicar. Blow out the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, now your cakes are so unbelievably moist. What's your secret? That's between me and Damp and Hines. Damp and Hines. Really moist cake. And now on your grocer shelf, look for Damp and Hines' new super really moist cake. Cake so moist, you can drink it. It's been a great guest day, but the only thing that's missing is some music. So here's Alana with the gang singing Funky Big Band. Oh, yeah. 
videotape before a live audience at the Disney MGM Studios in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Tomorrow, place your order for fun. Excuse me? Catch the sweet sounds of music superstars, boys to men. Let it snow. And another cool tune from the album MMC. It's an outrageous music day that's out of control. I am in control. Tomorrow on the MMC. 